So most drug development is supported by the pharmaceutical industry for commercial reasons and uh, that is rarely possible when you're talking about repurposing. And so funding of research is, is difficult and then when you get a positive result you have the issue that uh, the drug is not licensed for that indication and at the moment there isn't a mechanism for licensing drugs that does not involve the pharmaceutical industry. So at the moment we have a very good example of this in breast cancer. We have learned over the last 10-15 years that a class of drugs called bisphosphonates which are used to treat osteoporosis have a very powerful effect on uh, breast cancer recurrence in postmenopausal women. They reduce breast cancer recurrence and they reduce about one in six deaths. So clearly a big important treatment effect potentially saving a thousand lives a year. But clinicians can't prescribe these drugs because there isn't a license and NICE won't review the drugs because there isn't a license and the MHRA won't consider the application because there isn't a pharmaceutical company interested. So we have a lot of logistical issues around uh, making repurposing work and that's a, a campaign that Breast Cancer Now and others are involved in to get some common sense. Clearly we don't want to repurpose things that don't work and for which there's not good evidence um, but where there is level one evidence clinicians should be able to prescribe and patients should be able to gain the benefits of these treatments.